welcome to Fukaira channel many people when they meet me and they know what I'm doing you can check what I'm doing on my website teresahalit.com they ask me how can you get enough time to do everything that you are doing and in this video I want to share with you how I manage my time and I hope this video will be inspiring I will share with you uh, the main three important things you need to have to organize your time and also I will uh, share with you the bullet journaling that I discovered recently and how I'm using it to um, to organize my life and also I will show you my this year planner which I made by myself so keep watching so to organize my time I need three things number one is planner notebook um, any copy book and in this I started with the simple notebook many many years ago and uh, I was just writing everything in it it wasn't organized at all but then it developed over the years and I started discovering different kind of notebooks and recently I have made my own planner which I will share with you Number two you need to have for organizing your life or your time is a list of goals. Now we are in the new year, so it's the best time for you to think and decide what goals you want to achieve this year. Number three is a to-do list. After deciding on your goals, you need to then make a to-do list every day of things that will make you come closer to achieving your goals. And in this video, I will share with you how I do this in my planner, how I'm using the bullet journaling, and I will explain to you simply how I took some parts from the bullet journaling and implemented in my planner. So this is the notebook I've been using for the last two years, and I loved it a lot. But you know I like to change so that's why I made my own planner but you can watch the videos I made before about the story behind this planner it's specially designed for women I also made another episode about what's exactly in this planner for my planner I used recycled material this is what uh, this was a chocolate box which I used the cover in making the planner I used also scrapbook paper and any gift I received that has had the beautiful wrapping, I used it as you can see in the planner and I think I'm satisfied with how it looks like. I hope you like it as well. Let me know in the comment below. So the first page I made it like a dashboard. I can put a sticky note of the most important thing I need to remind myself of and put it here. I also made a little pocket from a little bag I had in one of the shops to put my sticky notes to use over the year in the planner then this is the first page I wrote my name because I'm the owner of this planner and I also uh, put a photo of me and the paper I'm, I'm using here is from also the chocolate box Then definitely I needed the calendar of the year. This you can simply print it from the internet. Then I must see all the months of the year in front of me so I can have this big layout of the year. And in each month I write my goals. What are the goals of this month that I need to achieve? And I of course can spread it over the, the month. Then I made a list of all the holidays and celebrations that I care about, including birthdays. So you can make your own list as well. Then I had my resolution list. Straight back, I need to really sit straight and walk straight. I hope I can achieve this this year. Then I made uh, a list of the year goals. What do I want to achieve in this year? For each field I'm working on, I put exactly the things I need to achieve or the goals. Then I started distributing them over the month. So what from all those goals, what exactly I want to achieve in January. And of course, I need to have 
this layout of all the days of the month this is January F is a video for this channel Fukaira T is the Tai Chi class I have E is the event so I can put and, and those stickers actually uh, are for every day I make yoga I give myself a sticker <laughs> so then we go in the month we had the year goals the month goals now I start to do my to-do list uh, bit by bit every day what exactly I need to do in order to achieve my monthly goals this was a tissue box that I liked so I made it a separation between the months in the planner this is a, a bag that I decorated and put also as a separator and I do the same for every month the goals of the month and then every day what exactly do I need to do in order to achieve my goals? I'm a graphic designer and so every time I see a beautiful tissue box design or any design I really can't throw it in the trash so I just keep it in my planner here as a separation Now I am also trying to keep track of my life so I want to know what movies did I watch? I made a list of all the movies I watched in 2015-2016 and the movies I will watch in 2017 Now here I have the books I'm reading at the moment and this for the password All my internet passwords I write them down but I printed them actually on the computer but you can't see them because <laughs> I didn't want to show them here and in the meals ideas, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I really don't know what to have for breakfast, what to have for lunch today. So in this part, I write every time I had a good meal, a uh, good idea for a meal, then I write it down so I can remember later when I'm searching for ideas for my meals. Here I'm putting all the awesome experiences that I lived to remind myself of them. And this is my to buy list. What do I want to buy this year? Uh, I always forget what I have in my freezer. So that's why I made this little note notebook of what I have in the freezer and when it will expire. And this pocket is for my planner stickers. So we didn't talk about the bullet journaling what did i take from it in the bullet journaling you have a symbol for your to-do list so the dot means something to be achieved then you have the circle the white circle it means event or occasion and you have the dash which means a note so if i have something to do and i couldn't do it then i can change the dot into an arrow like this which means that this task need to be shifted to another day if i achieved what i'm supposed to do then i will just make this check mark that it's done if it was cancelled and i don't need to do it anymore i can make a cross so this task doesn't exist anymore and this make it makes it easier for me because after a week i can go back on my planner and see which things that has the arrow that is shifted so i need to add them in my future plan so by this i can't forget any task i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it was inspiring for you i would like to know how do you organize your time maybe you can share it with me in the comment below and if you think this video was inspiring somehow don't forget to give it a like share subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell if you want to get notifications of every video i'm uploading